Yeah, I, for, I, I forgot what the YouTube channel was called. I think it's like the DP Grinder. Pretty much, uh, if you guys have seen Boss for the Famas in uh, Rated, he's the one that like made a video about this. I don't know if he made it, but he's the one that I saw. Alright, hopping right into the video. I thought that'd be a cool, interesting start. Just uh, showing off that little clip of Cody talking about how I was the one that he saw build this deck. Um, so, so hey guys, DB Grinder here. Definitely a different kind of intro. Not used to this. But uh, it's going to be Cody Angeloff with 629 rating versus Shadal Alistair with 503 rating. Also, to answer your question, Cody, if you are watching this, yes, I am the creator of the combo. Uh, took a nap, woke up in the middle of the night, and I was like, all right, time to make an FTK. And I kind of just threw her together. Uh, also, make sure to go follow Cody. Uh, this is his Twitch name right here. It's just Cody Angeloff. Uh, make sure to go follow him on Twitch if you want more competitive videos of, not videos, but him live streaming. Uh, he's definitely one of the few people that I watch, so make sure to go follow him. Alright, now hopping into the video. We're going to see Cody win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And hopefully that whole like beginning of the video ended up like looking good. Because I really don't want to have to re-record this whole video. Cause you guys know I don't like editing. Uh, opening hand is Block Dragon, Tiny, Unexpected Die, Madolche, Doki Doki. This is definitely a good hand. Uh, for FTK, you just need block plus needle. And he definitely has block plus needle. Uh, and then his opponent has evenly, strike, judgment, imperm, seek 41 in Geist. Oh, that's so bad. And he's main deck in judgment. I, ju I don't like this guy's list already. Uh, but he does have one hand trap. But that is not going to be enough to stop it. Unexpected die. Unless if he saves imperm and like... He's like stream sniping or something. I haven't actually seen this replay. I didn't start watching his stream until like he was an hour into the live. Uh, he's going to summon the Tenyi. Special out the Madolche. Go for Gallant. Gallant effect. He's going to allow it to go through. Adds Researcher. And then links into Needle. Needle effect. That's very interesting that he chooses the Imperm Needle over Gallant. I feel like, uh, like, Block Dragon really is just the best card of this deck. Like, if they summon Block, it's, like, almost game every single time, which is why this deck's the best deck. Because if you just open up, like, even, like, a decent hand, if you have Block Dragon in it, it's a broken hand if you can summon it. Um... So let's see what he's going to do. He's going to banish three, summon out block, special out researcher, researcher effect, hits guardian. That's really, really good. Um, he's going to go in the link cross, link cross, bring out some tokens, synchro in the metal, metal effect, bring out angel trumpeter get rid of token and angel to make garden rose garden rose effect add black garden i like that i like that uh i didn't really play test with the ftk build too much again i kind of just like woke up from a nap at like 3 a.m and then made the combo and was done with it at like 4 a.m and then i played it on like rated like five matches just to mess around with it uh, but I haven't really touched it since then. Since I know that, like, the pure build of this deck's better. Uh, he's gonna link four into Appaloosa. Interesting. Uh, then he's gonna get block effect, add weeping, seeker, and gigantus. Uh, he's holding Black Garden until after Appaloosa because he doesn't want his Appaloosa attack to be halved. Activate Black Garden, normal Doki, Black Garden, give him a token. Doki effect, get rid of Seeker, bring out Seeker. And then Seeker effect, 
Hits, tackle. This card is crazy. I'm surprised people are playing gate blocker over tackle. I feel like tackle is really just like... Like, uh, it goes like Guardian's the best, Doki's the second best, and then tackle, in my opinion. For, like, the rocks that you play just to, like, hit off of these. Oh, uh, these are going to summon block back out. Again, another token. Um, he's going to link... Our synchro in the wrap. And then link those two in the union. Summon out weeping. And then carrier on weeping. Uh, equip the earthbound. If you guys haven't seen this combo before, uh, I posted a video on my channel like a week, two weeks ago. Uh, it's just called Rock FTK, Adam and Scepter FTK. Uh, then he goes into Cerberus. Uh, earthbound effect, wipe the board, and then he gets a token. Oh, he he definitely messed that up. First of all, he doesn't take 8,000. Uh, he's probably going to fix that in a second. Or just leave it at zero because he knows he's about to get FTK'd. Uh, but you can chain it to where it's uh, chain link one black garden, chain link two earthbound. And then, because uh, they're both mandatory... Uh, so you can chain them however you want. And then destroy their board and then give them a token. Alright, so he did gain the 4,000 back, but it doesn't even matter. He's just going to lose it again. And then, uh, Rap is going to hit Researcher. Gets another token from that, and then gets a token from Gigantus. And then gets a token from Leo. Two tokens. It should be three. Uh, in reality, it should be four. But I don't think that's going to really matter. It could, though. Um, nah, it's not going to. Because he's going to be able to make Exa. Yeah, because he gets a token. And then now he's going to be able to make Exa. And then link with Cerberus and Exa. Uh, and then burn for game. Makes Exa Beetle equip the Earthbound, gives him another token, and then Link into Phoenix, and then Garden 2, Earthbound 1, and boom, 4,000 more. So, gets FTK game 1. Pretty cool combo, pretty cool combo. Uh, we're going to see should all Alistair go first. And their opening hands is Nib, Imperm, Researcher, Tenny, Beta. Uh, he didn't know he was on Geist since he FTK'd him last game. So he still has like hand traps in. Imperm isn't even that bad against Geist. It, I mean, it's not good, but it's not that bad. Nib is terrible, though. Then he opened Judgment, Seek, Marionetter, Imperm, Extravagance. I still can't believe he's playing 41. Like, he just want to see Faker every single game. Uh, Extravagance. Draws Melusik Proto. Uh, did he banish like? Nah, he didn't banish anything bad. I was gonna say if he banished like uh, two Link Cross, like that, just like tiny things like that that could impact the game. Normal Summon Marionetter effect Chain Imperm. He sets Imperm Judgment Proto and passes. Draws Gigantus. Tenny Summon itself. Normal summon beta, special summon out researcher, and then researcher effect, proto negate, banish researcher, summon out gigantus, make a uh, gallant, uses effect, gets hit with imperm, and then goes into needle, is gonna get hit with judgment then. That's tough. Uh, he's just gonna have to pass turn now. He doesn't have any more plays. Draws another extravagance. That's so good. Banishes six. Draws order and a pointer. Oh yeah, he can just a pointer rip the card out of hand that he draws for turn in this game. Whoa, you guys probably heard that in the background. Just don't pay attention to that. Uh, he normal summons Mel you seek. Poke for 500. 
Also, I didn't think about this till right now. I hope the clip I showed earlier didn't have copyright music in it. That that'll suck. Set a pointer, set order, but screw it. I'll I'll gladly not make money off this video to have the clip in it. Draws imperm, a pointer, reveals Melu Seek, and then he's gonna hit imperm out of hand, but then he's just gonna pass turn and imperm goes right back to hand. Uh, because again, it's his next end phase. That is his next end phase. I don't, I don't get why people think it's so complicated. Uh, like I understand it. Like if you haven't seen the card before, but this card has been in and out of the format for years. I, I feel like that's something you gotta learn. Draws one for one, and such an important ruling too. Normal summon Melu Seek, make Hextia, Melu Seek, add Marionetter. Ah, uh, he just tried normal summoning twice. Wow, and he got away with the... Oh, 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 but, but, but he didn't get away with the... Alright, right when I right when I thought he was getting away with it, he didn't. Good, I'm happy that we don't see any cheats on the video. Draws all line, he's just gonna scoop, he can't do anything. And now, game three... Let's see if he can FTK once more. Uh, a little laggy, a little laggy. Opening hand is Block, Earthbound, Madalche, Guardian, Trumpeter. This hand sucks. Like, I mean, it's not terrible. Nah, it definitely doesn't suck, like, as bad as I said at first, but it's definitely not good. Eh, like, it's good enough, it's good enough, let's say that, and then, depends what his opponent has. Uh, he has Faker, Extravagance, Mighty Seek, Manifestation, and, oh, no, he opened the Imperm Faker. Yeah, that's tough. It's so hard to win after your opponent opens this. It truly is. Special Summon the Madalche, Normal Summon the Trumpeter. Also, is the volume on the mic good, guys? Uh, cause I've had some people comment about it and I've been trying to like raise my voice a little bit, uh, to try to make it so that way you guys can hear me better, but, uh, I'm like, I can't talk loud. If I do, like, I'll lose my voice pretty quickly. Uh, that's just how I am. Uh, he makes needle, needle effect. He's gonna get hit with imperm and then he's gonna drop faker. Oh, like that's so good. He loses to that actually. Faker, bring out Silk. And he's bouncing the needle right away. Yeah, I mean, he could like summon block, but that just doesn't do anything here. Uh, yeah, so he's just gonna have to pass. Skill drain? This guy's crazy. Extravagance, but it does work in this deck because of protocol. But still, man's crazy. Uh, Banish 6. Draws Marionette and Judgment. Didn't banish anything bad. Didn't banish multiples of anything. Normal Summon Marionette. Effect. Set Proto. Yeah, yeah, that's game. Switch to Attack. Attack for 2,400 altogether. Main phase two, links in the Hextia, and then makes Link Cross, and then Link Cross and Hextia both trigger, add Marionetter, set skill drain, set judgment, set manifestation, pass, draws analyzer, that's a good draw, uh, manifestation on Hextia, then summon Faker, but this is not going to be enough. Bring out Silk. Um, it's going to normal summon Guardian. Attack Silk. Silk effect on Guardian. Guardian negate. He's going to chain Proto. So that way it can't be negated. Analyzer. Try summon itself. He's going to allow that to go through. Special out block. By banishing three. Judgment that. That was actually a smart play too, because he was going to bring out block and then use analyzer effect, and even if he protocoled negates, it wouldn't be destroyed because block. And then analyzer effect, 
skill, skill drain. And we're going to see Shadol Alistair win the match. Uh, like I said, make sure to go check out Cody Angeloff on Twitch. I'm fairly certain that this is his Twitch name. Maybe there's like not an underscore or something. But if you look this up on Twitch, you'll probably find him. Uh, make sure to go drop a follow to him. Uh, make sure to subscribe to me. We're trying to get to 2,500 subscribers by the end of the month. And I, I'm... 100% certain that you guys can do it. I have no doubt in my mind. And uh, that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. The DB Grinder, signing off. Peace.